Welcome to a lesson on effective yield, also known as the effective rate of interest, as well as annual equivalent rate. The goals of this video are to determine the effective yield formula for continuous interest, and also use the formula to determine effective yield. I do have another lesson on effective yield for compounded interest. The effective yield for compounded and continuous interest is the equivalent annual simple interest rate that would yield the same return after one year. So for review, we have the simple interest formula, the compounded interest formula, as well as the continuous interest formula. And below, we have the effective yield formulas for compounded and continuous interest. In this lesson, we're focusing on effective yield for continuous interest. So let's first discover where this formula comes from. We'll begin with the simple interest formula as well as the continuous interest formula. Remember, the effective yield is going to be the equivalent annual simple interest rate that would yield the same return after one year. So after one year, if the account balances are the same, then this R, the simple interest rate, would be the effective yield. And therefore, to derive the formula, we'll let T equal one in both formulas, and we'll let the simple interest rate R be equal to the effective yield, which is R sub E. So the amount in the account paying simple interest would be P times the quantity one plus R sub E. This must equal the amount in the account paying continuous interest, which would be P times E raised to the power of R. Again, we let T equal one in both formulas, and we let the simple interest be equal to R sub E because that would be the effective yield. So if we solve this for R sub E, we should have our effective yield formula for continuous interest. So let's divide both sides by P. This would be one and so with this, so we have one plus R sub E equals E to the R. Subtracting one on both sides, we have our effective yield formula. We have R sub E equals E to the R minus one. Let's look at a couple of examples. We want to determine the effective yield for an account paying 4% continuous interest. So we know R, the continuous interest rate is equal to 4%, which equals 0 0.04 as a decimal, which means the effective yield R sub E is equal to E raised to the power of 0 0.04 minus one. And now we'll go to the calculator. If we press second natural log, it brings up E raised to the power of 0 0.04, right arrow, minus one, enter. As a decimal, we have approximately 0.0408, or if we want 0 0.0408, and now we convert this to a percentage, which would be 4.08%. To convert decimal to a percent, we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign, or move the decimal point to the right two places. So the effective yield is 4.08%, which means an account paying 4.08 simple interest will yield the same return as an account paying 4% continuous interest after one year. Let's look at one more example. Again, we're asked to determine the effective yield for an account paying 6% continuous interest. So now we have R equals 6%, which is 0 0.06 as a decimal. So the effective yield R sub E is equal to E raised to the power of 0 0.06 minus one. Going back to the calculator, Second natural log brings up E raised to the power of 0 0.06, right arrow, minus one, enter. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.0618. As a percentage, we have approximately 6.18%. So the effective yield is 6.18%, which means an account paying 6.18 simple interest will yield the same return as an account paying 6% continuous interest after one year. I hope you found this helpful.